there, thanks for joining us. I'm Jason Zielinski. Austin Water is strengthening its emergency protocols and recently teamed up with Westlake Fire Department, Starflight, and the Austin Fire Department for a crisis drill at the Ulrich Water Treatment Plant. The practice assumed a wildfire near the plant and gave the organizations a chance to practice procedures and communication together. Austin Water Director Shea Rawls Rolson explained that during a crisis near a water treatment plant, emergency groups would need to work together. Joint practices like the one at Ulrich let departments strengthen communication protocols and be familiar with procedures ahead of time. Ultimately, these drills give Austin Water a chance to be better prepared to protect the citizens of Austin. The City of Austin and partners have compassionately closed the Gaines Creek Greenbelt area encampment near the Violet Crown Trail. A total of 75 unhoused residents and approximately 30 pets were relocated from the encampment to the city-owned Northbridge Shelter as part of the housing-focused encampment assistance link, also known as the HEAL initiative. The cleanup effort, which is expected to take several weeks, is being organized by the City of Austin Parks and Recreation Department. With substantial support from Austin Resource Recovery, the Austin Police Department, and a private contractor. We are starting the HEAL initiative today at this site. This is the 13th uh, site for HEAL that the city has done. It's a compassionate closure in which all the folks that are identified living in the encampment will be connected to bridge shelter. So the individuals are um, uh, admitted into these bridge shelters and then connected to uh, housing case management services with the goal of getting housed. To learn more information, visit austintexas.gov slash homelessness. As part of the Transportation and Public Works Department's Regional Mobility Improvement Project, the city's Art in Public Places program unveiled a new installation for the Anderson Mill neighborhood. Let's take a look. I hope that this work of art will bring you joy and put a smile on your face as you pass by and perhaps inspire some more creativity in your world. Thank you. So we're here today with my Art in Public Places installation for the neighborhood of Anderson Mill. And I created these giant seed pods, their sculptural mosaic to represent diversity, the love of nature, the love of family, and the continual change in our neighborhood. I created the forms in small maquettes and then hired a fabrication studio to help me produce them full size. The shapes are made out of styrofoam and then covered with a big, heavy, thick layer of concrete. The color is created through glass mosaic. So with 70,000 of them, that takes a while. <laughs> and then children, adults, grandparents, everybody came out to workshops that I sponsored and created unique and individual round um, glass seeds that I then used in the work of art. I've been a resident of this area for over 30 years, so today to see it complete in place, being enjoyed by the community brings me such great pleasure. And today's ceremony meant a lot to me, especially being able to uh, bring my traditional Native American customs into the process to bless the sculptures and keep them safe and happy for everybody to enjoy. For more information on the Art in Public Places program, visit austincreates.com. Well, Austin's recent record temps didn't deter folks from attending the second annual Swedish Midsummer Festival. <music> held at downtown's Old Bakery and Emporium. Attendees to the family-friendly event were welcomed with traditional Swedish music, crafts, and treats. It's our second annual midsummer event and we are celebrating a Swedish tradition. I've talked to some people that say even though I'm not Swedish, I really enjoy this. It's, it's cultural, it's different, um, and so I really love hearing that because people are having fun. That looks like a lot of fun. 
Well, that's it for this week's City View. Thanks for watching, Austin. As always, be sure to catch up on all the latest information on ATXN.TV, our social media channels, and on our website, austintexas.gov. Stay well, Austin.